It's time, adventurous ones, to unbox the f cartoon collection version of He-Man himself. From He-Man and the Masters of the Universe and the... What the... There's no mini-comic! Is this thing... What the... Uh-oh. Uh, welcome to the toy review! We're about to find out what the heck just happened here. Welcome back for another unboxing and review, adventurous ones. I'm the host, as always, master of all multiverses. The reason why MCU, DCEU, and any other universe is probably a total shit fest. Joseph Michaels, the Adventurous Joe, at your service. And there is a major problem here. <laughs> this is still sealed. Literally still sealed. This has not been resealed or anything. This is still sealed. And there is no mini comic. None. And it says right on the back, includes comic book. What the hell? I mean, I got this off of Walmart, for God's sake. It, it, off of Walmart.com. And I was like, the luckiest I could find it. Because it wasn't selling for scalper price. It was being sold for the normal price of $19.99. And I was like, alright, I can finally get my He-Man guy. Because I missed out on a big bad toy store. So we got screwed on that department. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how to explain that. A misprint from the factory? I mean, it, this guy's unpunched. Card is in nice shape for being Walmart, for God's sake. I mean, seriously, Walmart ships everything half-assed all the time, like Amazon and stuff. But there's no, there's no... No, nobody's opened this thing. Nobody's pried it open or anything. No sealing, resealing of the packaging and stuff. There's no mini comic. Even though it says includes comic book. Wow. Just wow. Anyways, we're gonna open him. It don't matter. We're opening him. Okay. We are going to get this guy out of the box, okay? We're literally going to start getting him out of the package. Now, originally, my plan was to buy this from Big Bad Toy Store. Because I was going to get it from Amazon, but I was sick and tired of Amazon and the whole international packaging ones. Instead of telling people, hey, it's the international one, you know? Okay. There we go. Also, there we go. Gotcha. Which is quite surprising. Now see, we got the packaging open. There's no mini comic. No mini comic whatsoever. So. But it is the US version of it. Because the international version have nothing about under the name of the character and stuff. Also, there's no writing on the back whatsoever. And it says here. As seen on Masks of Power episode, modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe animated series. Includes Sword of Ancients and two twists into powerful battle positions. The line also consists of two figures we've also already reviewed, Man at Arms and Skeletor. We still gotta get Beast Man, which now if we want the mini comic, we're gonna have to get Beast Man. 
because this is quite the surprise. You know, literally. Now, like I said, I bought this off of Walmart.com. It was regular price of $19.99. And I sit back and I'm wondering, what the heck happened here? There's no mini comic whatsoever with it. So it's kind of a strange little issue going on here. Anyways, let's get He-Man out of the packaging. Swords and everything fall right out. <laughs> nice. Ugh. You'll never hold me, Skeletor. Curses! He man's free. Yes, I'm a child of the '80s, and I love. And I loved the, the He-Man cartoon. I had all the He-Man action figures and stuff. Had Castle Grayskull and stuff. Having these in back in, you know, my collection and everything in between it is fun. Okay? You can't have fun with the things that are precious to you. What are you collecting for? Anyways. He-Man's arm can go the whole 360. Up about that far. Down about that far. Wrist articulation is the norm. Basic little small peg in there if you want to remove the hand. So be careful. Elbow articulation goes up about that far. Like he's giving you the thumbs up. And back down. Leg articulation can go up about yay far back. Foot articulation allows him to kick back about that far and up about that far. There's also boot joint swivel. Head articulation allows him to, is on a ball joint so he can look up about that far, down about that far, go the whole 360 and back again. Now, except his accessories include his the sheath that goes on his backside for his sword, like so, but can also be used with this sword, but it won't fit in correctly. So you put He-Man's power sword in. Reattach it to his backside again. And there you go. Then he puts this sword in, in his hand. Or you can put it in this hand. Like so. Claps it in there. There you go. Pull out his. Mm -hmm. Grab the backside part. Uh oh, now the sword's stuck. Again! Pull out his power sword. Now, much like the other He Man figures and stuff, this, his bandolier thing here can come off. His vest like thing can also be removed. By the flower of Grey Skull. By the what now? <laughs> Are you a defect? <laughs> what did I say? You said by the flower of Grey Skull. You're supposed to say by the power of Grey Skull. I did, didn't I? No, no, you didn't. <laughs> All right, let's try that dance again then. By the power of Grey Skull. There you got it. <laughs> Anyways, he stands about mm, the normal tie, mm, uh, normal sizing uh, for a He-Man action figure and stuff. He can do the bending down of the knees thing and stuff, 
well, if you want them in that kind of a position and everything. Otherwise, the knees will snap all the way up into place and stuff. And he can hold, stand about that tall. Now, here he is with Eva Lynn. The only female figure I have out right now and stuff. Because I don't have the animated version of Eva, uh, Tila yet and stuff. But... You can see the size comparison right here and stuff. So basically, this is all since Tila and her are about the same height and stuff. This is basic on how high or tall they will be to the He-Man. Here he is with Too Bad. Now again, a little bit of a height difference between them. Here he is with Camo Khan. Again, a bit of a height difference and everything. Here he is with Metal Botto. Now this one is a little interesting because they almost stand about the same height to each other. Now let's see how he is with Master Splinter. Again. A little bit on the height difference. This time He-Man is a little taller than good old Master Splinter. And last but not least, here he is standing with Tubop Steady. Now again, much like Too Bad there and stuff, bit of a height difference in them. Even with the back-to-back, -back, you can see the height and difference in them. Now, here's my thing on this. These figures cost you $19.99 a piece. Or it depends on where you get them from and stuff. They are $19.99 through uh, places like Walmart, Target, Walmart, Target, $17.99 on Amazon, but I wouldn't trust Amazon about as far as I could pick up the whole company and throw it with uh, getting figures from them like of these of these figures from them and stuff because they're always international versions. They're not the normal USA versions. Meaning the mini comic that does come with it is didn't he didn't come with one and I didn't get him through Amazon. <laughs> The mini comic that does come with it means that there's no words in it. Okay, there's no words in them whatsoever. So it's a whole get make up your own story kind of deal, if you will. Packaging is also completely different when it's international because it has no writing on it except lang different languages writing. Okay, no synopsis about what the figure is from or anything else in between it. Now. In my case, I got this from Walmart.com, which I have, I don't know how to explain this other than a factory misprint or something, or mispackaged, because uh, he did not come with the mini comic, even though it states on the card, Cotton Wind comic book. He doesn't have one. So, the question is, was this worth the wait? Absolutely. He doesn't come with much. He's basically the standard He-Man figure and stuff. It's interesting that he's, he's got the sword sheath on his backside and stuff. Other like un, Unlike other He-Man figures and stuff. He's got the short sword sheath on his backside. On his back. Which uh, was also in the cartoon. He would always have it like this and pull it out and go, By the power of Grayskull! And mm, then turn into He-Man and stuff like that. Okay. But the real mm, uh, hang-up on this figure is it's still He-Man. Okay. Whether it's an animated version of him or if it's just the Origins version of him. It's still another He-Man figure you're putting in your collection. Granted, it's a cartoon collection version and stuff. But at the same time, is it worth the price of $19.99? Could 
considering that you can't get it hardly anymore uh, without having to deal with scalpers on eBay or even Facebook. I mean, my God, I, I ran into a guy on there that want, has him, and I asked him, how much is it? I said, mm. I says, oh, mm, I'm willing to pay retail and stuff. Oh, I, I, it's 40 bucks. 40 bucks? Are you kidding me? No, not even worth it. Not worth 40 bucks. Get it for the normal price if you can find it. Otherwise, it's not worth that. Okay? So, that's it for this one, Adventurous Ones. Let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Did you like the review that's going on with this figure? Did you get one for yourself when it was available? Let's hear it all down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss on anything we got going on in 2024. There's still more unboxings and reviews, more great stuff on the way. The November giveaway is still going on right now. You want to be a part of it, you got till November 28th to enter. Get in gear if you want to be a part of it. Head over to the giveaway video. Make sure to follow the three rules of it. Internationals can take place, or take part, excuse me, in it, as long as they're price tagging someone here in the United States. If it, they're expecting to win it and get it shipped to them, not going to happen. You will automatically be disqualified. Okay? So follow the three rules of the video. Hit in the comment section of the giveaway video, hashtag the force, and you will be entered for the Star Wars prize pack. Until the next unboxing, till the next review, peace out. May the force be with all of you. And every last one of y'all have a safe, lovely, and beautiful week out there. Take care of yourselves, your family, your friends, your pets, loved ones in general, and use your smarts, people. Use your freaking smarts. We're not in safe times anymore and stuff. Anything can happen day in, day out. Okay? Use your head. Don't do stupid crap that's going to get you taken out of this world too soon. And make your loved ones, anyone in between there, cry their eyes out because you're gone. Alright? Use this. The brain that you have. Use it. Okay? Get home safely to everyone that loves and cares for you. Don't do stupid shit out there that's going to end you too soon. Till then, take care. God bless to every last one of you out there. And I'll see you all later.